My name is David Kenneth. I'm the founder and CEO of Filamu Mitane Film School. So the Film School is a new way of transforming the society and impacting the young people with skills and the knowledge how to tell great stories in Africa. Of course, the young people that are graduating today, it's a big dream and it's a, it's a dream come true for me uh, to see them graduate today and also go ahead and even start their own production houses. The Film School is really great because one of the things that many people really miss out for in this life is opportunity. And these people, they have been, these really young uh, ladies and gentlemen, they've been given a really, a really good opportunity to start, to, to be somewhere by the time they finish. It's, it's, it's a beginner course, but it's, it's like they are learning everything, almost, because it's not every day that someone does what Filamu Mitan is doing to those people. No one will just allow you to walk into their set, or see how uh, people are doing one, two, three. No, it doesn't happen that way. In a professional setup, in fact, what you're doing for them, it's a favor. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really grateful for what you're doing for them because uh, as an actor, they are the people who will shoot us in the days to come and they should be really shown how to do it right, because if you don't do it right, then you should not do it. Um, my name is Redemptor, NGR. The film has really impacted me. Like right now, I'm assured to have the skill of taking photography with all the essentials. And I can also script write, especially documentary is my favorite part. And also, directing. So my name is Steven Mwangi Kairianja and uh, I'm a second year School of Information Science yeah, and uh, joining uh, Philamitani School was the best uh, decision I made. I've learned a lot. I wanted to be like a director. I used to direct up Kitambo lakini kwa nafanya vitu aziyeleweki. So when I came to the school, I learned on how to write uh, scripts. There, Kitambo ni kona andikiwa scripts, ama na come up na idea na ifanya once on the on the stage. So, ni me learn kwa andika script, tu kuichambua camera angles, nini. So I've learned directing and so on. So basically, ni me saidika sana and uh, okay, I'm planning to start a production company very soon, and uh, I'm going to do a lot of films, documentary, majoring on. Uh, on uh, local languages like Kikuyu and uh, of course documentaries which will go on deep on culture. Maybe I live in a place where people are you know, uh, pastoralists so I'll major on that. Maybe the, the, their culture, maybe how they take girls, uh, how do people don't go to school, maybe Vilo Anahama. So all those will be my, maybe in Itakuwa point of Nini reference yangu hapo ndio nitakuwa nikiangalia on my film and documentary part so yeah so about the film i've learned about photography you know once when maybe i'll be out there the film collecting the news maybe about the photos there's technical way of analyzing the photos maybe someone an accident has occurred and you want to analyze the photos or you choose the photos to display you use the technical way of analyzing the photos for example you choose the photos to blur and the photos to show the viewers and i've learned that one through film Mutani, the classes and another one the script writing it was a very interesting lesson i can script and produce a film about the script. Mm, it's a dream that I've had for like five years where I wanted to teach young people and impact the society on how to tell great stories. And, uh, and, and seeing them today even able to even shoot and edit and even be in photography, it's, it's something unique. It's the editing part, cause you know, once you take the camera and start recording, the editing part always has the biggest impact in everything. You can take the best shots, the best videos, and afterwards the editors mess up your area. So I'd like to purely actually be the one who edits my videos and everything in it so that it can bring the point that I want. Yeah. Yeah, my vision of becoming a, a documentarist, yeah, 
I've always been inspired to do that from a very long time ago, way back. Uh, so the best part was uh, the, the editing part. Okay, you see, I learned that the editor can, okay, can give shape to a uh, to, to any film. Like, kitu imefanyua field, uneza ipe taste when you nataka. So the editing part was the best part. Una, una shape the, when you nataka, you can decide to tell a story different from even what was in the field. Basically, if pengine walifanya makosa kwa field, you can correct that on the editing. So that's the best part. Uh, there's a lot of work that has been done behind the scene in terms of having uh, to set up a, a curriculum that is practical based, that is unique and it's unpacked in a, in a different way that the young people can learn. And yes, there are, people are doing this, but of course uh, we've tried as much as possible to, 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 to mentor them, to understand that it's not about getting the knowledge, it's about implementation aspect. Uh, and, 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 and for the knowledge that they, have, they received in the, the film school, it's a sustainable one, and they can uh, implement it. After the course, what I like to do, maybe start applying my skills that I've acquired from the classes. For example, I'll try taking photographs, maybe assuming that I'm news reporting, trying to take the photograph, trying to blur the ones that I should blur, trying to technically analyzing the photos like as a news reporter or a news anchor or as someone collecting the news. I'm going to try writing scripts and filmmaking. Well, maybe I'll start with photography. I noticed that most of the photography taken, you know, everybody has their own style of marketing themselves. You'll find that some people exaggerate some exposure, some temperatures. So if I will make it possible for photograph for photographs to be able to, you can you can get out there saying that that picture can get into my frame. I want that picture in a frame in my house in a workshop. Yeah. It was like that, because you see in this area, I have noticed that most of the photography, not in a bad way, but you, ex you it's almost like it's aesthetic, whatever it is, but they don't concentrate on maybe the final product in years to come. They don't concentrate that this picture can tell a story, this picture is good at home, it's good in certain backgrounds, and also, in the world of documentary, I can at least bring the certain point that I want to bring out in life. So, okay, the, the editing and the directing part, okay, the whole part of uh, the film, when you learn, say, you may one, you may socialize in our wengi, like, you may join our wengi, including actors and so on, what wengi sana, then, okay, like, kibiashara like umeanza kufanya kazi mtu anaku entrust kitu fulani ni editie hii nifanyie kamera wake ni, ni write a script ya hii so like people will come uh, tunataka kufanya kitu fulani maybe ku present competition fulani tusaidie so it makes you feel what you're doing is not in vain so inafanya u appreciate uh, like you say film mitani real stories you see many people are afraid of telling the real story because they feel like they they have an obligation to inspire but we should not just inspire and 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 and, and fail to deliver the true purpose of art which is to reflect the real sto stories in the society so the the mental health film was 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 was, was a really nice story for me because most, it's really affecting a lot of men and boys majorly because they, they really don't have a shoulder to cry on because we are not expected to cry, live alone having a shoulder to cry on. So yeah, I, it was really personal for me because I've, I've, I've seen people who go through the same, who go through much and they've never had the chance or the courage to, you know, come out to, to, they, they feel alone. So when we put it out there, it was like we were, we were placing a mirror in front of them. We were telling them, you know what, this thing happens. Talk, this thing happens, reach out, this thing happens. It happens to men as, as much as it happens to the ladies.
yeah so I, I, and i love the directing you people are great you, the, the, the 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 setup the scene and the flexibility of how you are taking ideas from the actors the the students it was a really good learning opportunity for for me as well actually yeah i loved it actually i want to be a news reporter news anchor so and i just i also want to try writing scripts and producing films of the script i've written and impacting impacting other people of my knowledge the knowledge i've acquired don't want to be jealous just to use the knowledge for myself i want to impact other people of the knowledge i've acquired we are looking forward even to launch other programs of course we have the september class whereby we'll be able to launch uh, another beginner course starting 10th of september and also 10th of october we'll have the master class so we really really appreciate the effort and uh, the what the students have learned um I, i think going forward we're going to do more and we are looking forward to growing more young filmmakers in africa thank you Real stories.